Hi everyone, my name is Sean Tusi. I'm CEO and co-founder of Glow3dapp.com. Uh, we're in a startup focused on the idea of 360 product photography for online merchants. In this video, I will go for how to use our web-based platform where you can uh, share and export your 360 photos in uh, different formats. Without further ado, let's get started. 360 product photography is a great way that you can increase engagement at the same time help online buyers have a better understanding of your products. Once a week we are posting a video around the subject of 360 product photography as well as general product photography. So if you're interested please go ahead and subscribe to this channel so when we get a new video up you will be the first one to hear about it. Also if you have any questions about this video or other videos in our channel go ahead and post it as a comment and I would be happy to answer them. So let's go back to the subject in hand. So our web platform consists of two sections. One is glow3d.net which is this screen where you can access your back end, your page and you could export products. You could also go to explore where you can see different 360 product photographies that are done by different users or you can find other people that are in this platform where you can visit our pricing. You can also go to glow3dapp.com. Here you can get more information about our products, partnership programs, and uh, other features or other plans that we have as well as client stories. In this video our focus will be on how to use your backend platform. Once you get to glow3d.net you need to log in or sign up. If you're not a registered user you can go here and sign up. It's a very easy and typical process but if you are our users you could also use Google account to sign in or you could use the email and password that you have created before. So I will go ahead and sign in. Now I'm logged into my account. So on the top, when you log in, you're in Explore, where you will see the new 360 photos added by different people. The first item on the left that shows a house is your page, where it shows only your 360 photos. Obviously, I've logged into my account, so this is my profile. On the top, we have the albums. So if it is the first time you're logged in, you will not see the album because this is uh, basically like a playlist or folder that I create to organize my products. Uh, so at the, at the beginning, if you haven't created any album, you will not be able to see this. And in this section, you will see the lower section, you will see uh, where your products are. On the top is information about you. The edit profile take you to the section where you can add information or edit it. You can access this from mobile or web. And here you could also decide what watermark you would like to have or if you would like to turn on and off the watermarks in your platforms, as well as other information such as your email if you would like to make it available to others to see. You could also use this button to share your profile and uh, your 360 portfolio uh, to anyone through any of the social platforms, including Facebook, Twitter, or Pinterest. Or you could just copy the link or you could embed this whole page into your website, for example. So you don't have to have people exit your website to see your 360 photo um, portfolio. This probably works the best if you're an artist or somebody that has a page that would like to bring people in show their products. Uh, the next section is my feed where you can follow other people very similar to Facebook and other social platforms and as they post a new object or new product you will be able to see it here if that product or that model is public. So the way it would works is that as you go through um, our explore uh, decide to uh, follow the, a user and as you follow users, then you will be able to hear I'm following this user so I could follow or unfollow that user. And uh, then we will be able to uh, see the new products as they create it when you come to your My Feed page. In this section, you can find the different users of Glow3D app. And here you can see the pricing, which are different plans we have. Uh, they may change as the time goes from the time we're recording this video, but 
basically the most updated pricing and feature list will be here. And in this section, you have analytics, you can see the bookmarks. Um, that's basically saving some of the models, so you can always come back to them. You can have access to edit profile here again. Here, we'll take you to our online store where you can purchase 360 product photography equipment such as light boxes, turntables, as well as uh, tripods. In this section, you can see tutorial where it will take you to our YouTube channel where you can see different videos that we're using uh, from different playlists um, such as our iPhone and Android uh, product photography apps, our desktop app, um, integration platforms to Shopify, WooCommerce, BigCommerce, uh, Magento and other platforms as well. Now I'm back at my homepage where I can see my different products and the first thing you need to know is the different status for privacy. So private, which is what this specific product is, is when nobody has the access to it. Only when I log into my page I will be able to see them. So other people as they come to my page they will not be able to see it. If I've already embedded this product somewhere and I changed the privacy to private, it will not show anywhere that this product is embedded. Unlisted is the status where it gives you a little bit of a privacy by means that only people that have the link will be able to see it. So if people come to your Glow3D page, they will not be able to see it. If you embed it somewhere, people will not be able to see it. So the only possible ways that people can see this is if you send them the link or they have already have the link. This is best if you have a product that is in an early stage or if you're a photographer that you would like to send a product to a client, 360 photo, to get them approved. It. So you really don't want a private because you want to share it, but at the same time you don't want it public because you don't want everybody to see it. And finally, public is when you're ready to share it. Anybody that comes to your page will be able to see it, you will be able to embed it, and it gives you the most flexibility in terms of sharing. And for dots at the bottom right will give you different options. So you could like it, you could bookmark it, that means you can sort of save it, um, uh, something that you like, or if you're going to other people's page, you will be able to see it. This, you can create different albums to organize your client if you're offering the 360 product photography service, or if you're using it for yourself, you could really organize them into different albums. And albums is what I explained at the beginning of the video here, where you could really organize multiple photos in different sections. The good thing is you can have um, multiple albums and multiple products can go into multiple albums. So it works pretty much the same way that a YouTube playlist works. So one model, one 360 photo can be in multiple albums, but it doesn't actually get copied, which is a great advantage because if you want to edit it, you just edit it once and then it will automatically get spread out um, the, with the other platforms. Uh, with edit, it will give you the option where you can edit some information about that product. Get more information, main properties, you can assign name, assign a web page, so that creates a backlink. For example, if you're selling a product in Amazon, in your website, in Shopify, in WooCommerce, you could have that URL here, so anybody that sees it and likes it, they could actually have a link and go and visit it. Very similar to what a Pinterest uh, product is here. You can add descriptions and here you can add custom fields. So if you would like things like the materials, the sizes, you will be able to add them here. And finally here you have the option to add new tags um, that will help through search engine optimizations and search engines as they will um, get uh, grabbed and indexed so it will uh, potentially create some more traffic for you. So for example, I want to add a tag that is called 360 product photo. So I could add a tag. I would like to add my brand, for example, Pottery Mania. Or any other information that will make it searchable to the search engines, which is very useful. Uh, you can also do edit graphics, but edit graphic feature is only available to mobile and for our users that have a pro account is only available uh, to pro accounts for our desktop applications. 
if you would like to learn how to use the desktop applications or how we're to download it there will be a link somewhere here where it will show you um, the videos and tutorials on how to do it you can delete the models you could download the gif both on mobile app and desktop app you can gain better experience on downloading GIFs. It will give you more control in terms of watermark, the speed of the GIF or the video, as well as adding reverse or other features. However, for quick export of a GIF or MP4 from our web, or if your plan is not supporting, for example, if you don't have a Pro account, you have a Plus account, and you do not have the desktop app, then the best is to just generate, go ahead and generate the GIF from here. But always using the mobile or desktop will give you the best uh, feature. So here I have limited access in terms of choosing the watermark, choosing the size, and then I can just select download. And what it does, it will start generating it. Now we continue with another sample, this miniature car. And here, we have some of the same options here, so just edit, delete, download GIFs, MP4, download single frame, where you can only download this specific frame where you are working. For example, if you need a thumbnail or if you need to add it to an, uh, a specific software, then you can just download that or you could download all images. You also have some features here in terms of sharing where you could copy the link, for example, if you want to send it to someone, share it directly to your social platforms, or you could simply copy the embed so you can embed it in another software. For example, if you have a WooCommerce, or if you have a Shopify store, um, this is where you would come to copy the link, and then you will go to your plugin, uh, the Glow 3D plugin that you have already installed on your store, or your WooCommerce or your Shopify store, and you will be able to simply paste it there and it will automatically show your product page. If you'd like to learn more information about Glow 3D integration, we'll have a card pop up here somewhere, most likely on the top right, where you could click and get more information about different integrations that we have available. Uh, this is also an embed directly to eBay. Unfortunately, eBay does not currently support the interactive 360 photos, but what it does once you click embed, it will copy the embed in um, here, and then you can go to your eBay listing and simply copy paste this embed code and it will generate a spin image GIF that will show the image moving around automatically posted to your eBay card popping up here on the top right take you to that a specific video about how to embed a product on eBay. As a next step, let's navigate through our album feature where you can access it from here and you get to choose what album you would like it to go through. For example, currently is in toy, but I can decide to have it in uh, more than one category or if you I like, I can add another album. So it's very easy. I'll add here album. And if I scroll down, I can see it here and I can select it. So now uh, what will happen is a new album will be created for me here, as you will see. And then every time that I go here to this album, I will only see um, the products or the models that are added in that album and then I will be able to easily share it to different platform the whole page or the whole album so this is very good if you would like to select some of your products or select part of your portfolio and just embed it or share it to somebody so they only see this or if you would like to create different albums for different clients so as they will log in they will only be able to uh, see that specific page and then they will also be able to share it or embed it in their platform. But the good thing is, is always have carrying your name or the original creator name, which is very significant to many people and a big challenge to people as they create photos to the videos or in general content that you would like to always carry your name with it. So this pretty much uh, wraps up our, uh, our web. And um, if there is any question, again, feel free to add it as a comment and I will be more than happy to answer any question you have. Uh, we are creating videos 
once a week about 360 product photography as well as tips on product photography so if you would like to go ahead and subscribe so as we're adding these new videos you will be able to see them and get more information thanks again for watching